Okay. Alright. Hey everybody! I'm my Are you done? Yeah. Oh, you break? Don't break. Just put it in between. Yeah, like that. Okay, look at this. My name is Modesta and welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined by my lovely girlfriend Lotta. <laughs> Hi everyone! And we are going to talk to you guys about what questions you should not ask non-straight couples. Or people. Or human beings. You get the point. Great. Alright, the first question is probably one of the most annoying ones of them all. And that is, how are you sure you are really gay? I just... Should I get a confirm confirmation or something? Like, hey, congratulations, you're gay. Like, is there like a pregnancy test for being gay? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I, mean, I, I'm, I don't know. Maybe you should get tested or something. Yeah, go to the hospital. <laughs> Do I wake up in the morning and I get a text like, hey, today you're gay? <laughs> congratulations, have fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We gotta confirm that we are gay, but straight people don't do yeah. to do it. Straight people don't need to confirm that they're straight. What about if we turn the question around? How are you sure you are straight? Do you get <laughs> tested? Are you gonna get tested? Do you want to get tested? How are you sure you're straight? Oh my god, we should go to people like... Oh, by the way, are you straight? Like, oh, how do you know you're straight? I love those videos. I love the videos where yeah. they, they point out things that people say to non-straight people and then turn them around so that they, they ask questions to straight couples. Yeah, this that is so funny. Couples always ask to gay people like... Can we just not do that in public because... Yeah, I don't really, it's like, you guys are straight, but I don't, uh, can you please keep it in a little? Because I don't think my family feels comfortable with having straight people around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it sounds so crazy when you yeah. say it, but it's it's exactly what happens. It's like, oh, when did you come out? I mean, when did you know you were straight? What? Well, <laughs> you're just not That's, you just, the more you know. It's like, when you're straight, you feel you're straight, and if you feel like you're doubting that, you're gonna discover that, but... You just... I don't know where I'm going. No, I mean, yeah. <laughs> next right, question. <laughs> next question. <laughs> so, a question we got asked a lot is, who is the man in a relationship? Do you see a man here? <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Who's the pants in the relationship? Well, we yeah. both have pants. I wear pants all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like... Like, if you're masculine, if yeah. you're a masculine man, people are like, you're the man. Yeah, you're and very you're, manly. If, yeah, you're, yeah. if you're a female man, you're a girl. What? That doesn't even make sense. Yeah, <laughs> like, whenever like whenever dudes are very skinny, they automatically get assumed as weaker and less less manly as very muscul masculine and buff people. Like, but you're a man. But you're still a man. Yeah, so... I don't know where we're going with this though. No, me neither. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. It just goes in one moment. Some people think that there has to be a man type in a relationship for a relationship to function. Why would there have to be? If a relationship functions, it just functions. There is no book to how to make a relationship function. Exactly. You have a feminine girl in a relationship and you can have a less feminine girl in a relationship, but why do you have to address the less feminine girl as male? If you have two females in a relationship, why does one of them still has to be addressed as the male one? Like, you're in a relationship with two females, why do you gotta make it seem more straight? Next question is kind of similar to the first question. It is, so, when did you know you were gay? Like, when? Really? When? When? You're not gonna wake up and think, whoa, I'm gay, or whoa, I'm straight. You just, just it's just the period of time you. It's just progress. It's just something you have to yourself. go to. It's something you have to, yeah, discover about yourself. It's not something that is there from one moment to another. A better question to ask is like, when did you come out? Which is still not a very polite question to ask someone when you just met them and you know they're gay, or. LGBTQ plus or whatever, it's still not very polite to ask, but it is better than oh when did you find out you were gay? Because you seem like you do not understand the fact that finding out about your sexuality is a process. That it just doesn't happen from 
one to another day. Mm -hmm. Strong word here. Yeah. I get this. Like myself, I'm pretty new to the LGBTQ plus community. Like I, I it's like it's like one thing to figure out that you're not straight, but the next thing is to actually figure out what you are then because so wide spectrum of people. What most of the people think is the most common boxes to, or labels to put on yourself is gay straight or bisexual but there is so much more than that you also have the gender and the sexuality and yeah. the expression and the, the whole the whole thing about how you present yourself and how you feel inside and how your body is like what your actual gender is there's so many different combinations of that so the next question is so how do you guys do it i think this is a pretty odd question to ask yeah it's a very intimate question especially for people that you just just met it's it's you just don't ask that question it's like i'm not gonna ask you how how you have sex so why would you oh, ask no, me no, how no, i do no. it this is a question you just do not ask and if you ask you give them the option of you only have to talk about this if you feel comfortable talking about it um, if we're like close friends. Yeah, if you're close friends, I just... I feel more open to talk about it with close friends because of this, they're like, close friends. But yeah. like strangers or people we just met, like... You don't do that. <laughs> it's not like we have to explain ourselves or whatever. Like you guys, you're, you're a couple, you guys do it. You don't have to explain yourself, so... Why is it a special thing to address whenever you meet a non-straight couple? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> wait, okay. Wait. What are you doing? So there is one more question left that people always, well, especially guys, always ask and... Tristan? This too is a, it's it's more of a of a joking question because yeah. we, we've heard it a couple times in a, yeah. in a joking way. But still, having the thought of the people that say it in, in the back of our minds, like, you're joking, but we know you yes. and we know what you think whenever a straight guy meets a lesbian couple or a lgbtq couple but most of the time a lesbian couple what part makes them think that because they're a lesbian couple they're easier to have a threesome with because we're not straight doesn't mean we're we're easier to ever i don't know no man i don't know uh, <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. My girlfriend's breaking the house down. Luckily it's her house, so it doesn't really matter. Alright guys, that's about it for this video. Uh, it's a little different than usual. We're talking a little bit about LGBTQ plus stuff. And that's new for my channel. Let us know what you think about it. Because we're pretty curious. And we're willing to make more videos like this. Lotta wants to start her own YouTube channel. But she's not really sure. She's not, really, uh. she's not getting to the point of actually starting. So if you want Lotta to start her own YouTube channel. Leave a comment below and give a thumbs up to give her some motivation. <laughs> Cute. And we'll make sure she starts her YouTube channel. I'll try. I'll try. If you like this video, make sure to give a thumbs up. If you want to see more of us, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I'll talk to you guys soon. You want to be in a notification squad? You'll get a cookie from me. I will be sending a cookie to your house. I shouldn't say that because everyone <laughs> will do that.